Hop in everybody, and welcome to KUM News Extra. I'm Jason Salas, and you picked a great night to be watching. You know, we say that every time, but tonight, truly a good night to watch because there are a ton of events, and we'll tell you about two of them coming up on Saturday the 31st. There's going to be the Volunteers Conference and also the Bark for Life event, so you don't want to miss those. But first, the big Guam Koku road race is fast approaching, and we have Nate tonight here from the Guam Visitors Bureau. Nate, half a day. A pleasure yeah, as always. Day. Thanks for having me. Okay, so Appreciate this is one of the biggest races for both for race enthusiasts, people that just want to get out and uh, exercise and get some fitness and everything like that. But you guys always do it bigger and better every single year. So uh, what's the plan for this year and how have you improved on last year's race? Yeah, so this is the eighth uh, Coco. Uh, now we're calling it the Coco Half Marathon and Ekaden Relay. So uh, it used to be called the Coco Road Race. So this year there's a lot of exciting new changes. Uh, first of all, the race course is different. So we're still starting at uh, the front of GVB, but instead of going up the Hilton Hill, we're going down uh, uh, north on uh, San Vitoris and then at JFK, uh, the half marathoners will go up JF JFK Hill back down to Assen and back. So that's the new part for the half marathon. And then on the Ekiden Relay, um, uh, that's going to be held from uh, Ipa Beach. It would go down to around Sandcastle, turn around and come back. So that's the exciting new thing. We, have a, we were kind of uh, having too many people in the Ekiden uh, Relay uh, over at the Citibank area um, waiting for the next uh, stop. So, mm -hmm. so it was kind of a bottleneck, so we decided to change the course. So it's going to be real exciting, so all the teams uh, can just wait down there at Epau Park, wait for their next uh, teammate to come come by and then do the switch off. So it's, we're real excited about the new course. So that's new for this year. Of course, Ekiden Relay is a four-person relay. It's, uh, it's actually a Japanese word, so we kind of borrowed it from them. But basically, each person on your team will do a 5K. So it's a great way to get, uh, you know, build up um, uh, camaraderie and morale mm -hmm. amongst the team around, you know, your office or a bunch of friends or school groups. Uh, and the exciting part is for the Ekiden Relay, we're really encouraging uh, Gov Guam employees to come out and join. Absolutely. So, yeah, so we have special rates for them. It's about 20 bucks uh, if you sign up early to join the Ekiden Relay. So it's like a $5 a person. So, I mean, you're getting a bunch of cool stuff. We got uh, race shirts, uh, finisher medals. We have uh, a goodie bag, um, a cocoa keychain, cocoa towel. So, I mean, you're getting way more than your $5 investment. So. Now, now, I got to ask you, because you and I are both techies, and we love messing around with gadgets and everything. Are you guys doing the sensors again, where you can actually measure and then report your, uh, your progress on social networks? Because that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're using the Chrono Track system. So each runner has their own um, section on the website where uh, they can get their race times, and it tracks you as you pa pass you know, certain checkpoints along the race. Uh, you can check in and follow someone's progress. And then you can set that with your social media of your choice, mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter. And then it'll send out to your followers uh, where, you, where exactly you are on the course. So that's exciting. That was absolutely yeah. insane last year. I saw so many people that I know, and they were like, okay, well, you know, Michelle just passed, you know, checkpoint two, or, you know, Dave just, you know, completed his part. And I was like, this is so cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, technology is great. Um, we also have a, a part of that website, too, it allows uh, photos taken on the course and then also uh, the finisher's video to be posted on your site. So you can share that with your friends and family. So you'll have video of yourself crossing the finish line and then photos of yourself out on the course. So. It was a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, uh, you know, people really enjoyed it. So we're bringing back th uh, that this for this year as well. And for the relay, I got to think it's you know, athletically it's very competitive because you know when you start out at Epal, you know there's it's generally flat, and then you go down the hill. So it's gonna everybody's gonna have a mad dash at first, and then uh, like you said, you turn around at Sandcastle, and then you make your way back. But going back up the hill, that's gonna provide for some challenges. Yeah, know? definitely the start of kind of like Fiesta. The, the kind of it's kind of a big incline right there. Yeah. As you're as you're going up, but then you get to finish with a nice. Uh, nice downhill as you get towards GVB. So, you know, Tumon is a great place to run. That's why we kind of wanted to have the Ekaden down in Tumon. And we're going to have a lot of our uh, partner hotels uh, along the way cheer with cheer squads. So as the different teams of uh, visitors and locals run down Tumon, you're going to, you know, have, I think gr the group at the Hyatt and the Fiesta are going to be out front cheering on uh, all the different teams and they'll have some uh, water stops along the way. So Very I think nice. it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, we're excited about the new course and, uh, and uh, I think it's going to be a good change for this year. Okay, so let's see. So we've got a really challenging course. We've got at least two ways to compete. You can do the half marathon. You can do the, the academic relay. Uh, you get a ton of stuff in the goodie bag. Yeah. You get a really cool shirt. You get to track your progress and then share it on social networks. Have you have you have any slots left? Because I, I can imagine this thing's going to fill up, you know, in oh, yeah, five minutes. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's like a Bon Jovi concert. It's going to sell out, you know, like, <laughs> by the time you blink twice. Yeah, yeah, uh, de no, definitely. We have. Uh, I mean, we can take as many as, as uh, you know, up to twenty five hundred. Last year we had uh, over two thousand. So we encourage everyone to sign up early and often, mainly because of the discounts. The earlier you sign up, the the more affordable affordable it will be. So we ask everyone to you know go to uh, either Hornet. Uh, you can go to Coco the website Coco Road Race. Uh, dot com and sign up online or even down at JVB. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sign up early and get your team team together. Uh, 
I know KUM always comes out strong. We were talking with the guys back there. Uh, they were going to come out and start training. So, you know, I hope, I hope you can join them. That's going to be Team KUM production. Jason, yeah. Rollin, Mike, and Pete. Yeah. Are you going to be the anchor or what? I'll, I'll, I'll be the anchor, but yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put money on us because <laughs> with me there, I'm definitely going to slow us down. Yeah, just come Rollin, come Rollin is, our, is our speedster. Right? Yeah, come out for fun, and uh, we encourage everyone. I mean, definitely the Ekiden is a fun, uh, fun. It's competitive, but it's also fun for, for you know, all, all different types. And then the half marathon, a lot of people, I see them out there training, wearing their, their training shirts. So they're out there in uh, Timon and around the island training for the half marathon. So, you know, we're looking forward to having uh, the most participation, um, just not all, uh, locally, but uh, internationally as well. So it's uh, shaping up to be a good race. Uh, can I really quickly thank my uh, sure, sponsors? Sure. Yeah, it wouldn't be possible without our partners. Um, Definitely all the government agencies really pitch in, the governor's office, uh, Parks and Rec, DPW, then uh, National Guard, GPD, GFD, they really help us. It wouldn't be possible. Safety is always a priority, so we really focus uh, on safety and we thank them. Uh, then we have our presenting sponsors, United Airlines. We have great trips that we're going to be giving away. Winners get a trip to sister races in Japan, so there's that exchange. A uh, new sponsor this year, DFS Galleria. So they're going to be giving yes. over $5,000 worth of prizes at after the race. So I, f I forgot to mention, after the race, we're gonna have all kinds of bands, entertainment, food, and uh, a lot of fun. So we you know, gonna encourage people to stick around. That's totally worth getting up early for. Oh yeah, Gatorade's gonna yeah. be there. We're gonna have tons of Gatorade, uh, hydrating people along the course. That's a weekend a event in and of itself. Yeah, PIC, um, uh, PIC's always been a great sponsor since the beginning, and uh, you know, they're, they're really integral in the, in the International Marathon, which they launched uh, this past April. So we mm. thank them for their help. Uh, but uh, definitely want to thank also the stations of KUM. You guys have always been a strong media partner, so appreciate all the help and all the support getting the word out there. So. All right, well, Nate, always a pleasure, man. Yeah. Welcome back here anytime, you know that. Yeah, thanks, Jason, appreciate okay. it. All right, thanks a lot. And stay tuned because we 